A patient presents with the following clinical finding. An incisor with a worn out incisal edge moved occlusally along with the gingival attachment. What changes can occur? First, let's just understand this. You have an incisor. Suppose this is the central incisor. Okay, this is how it normally looks. What they are trying to say is an incisor with a worn out incisal edge. So that means the clinical length of the crown has decreased. Okay, that is the first thing that we need to remember. The clinical length was decreased. However, now what has happened is this has moved occlusally. So this has erupted passive eruption. So the clinical it what it has done is it has tried to re-establish the initial clinical crown length height. Okay. So it has moved occlusally and when it due to passive eruption what has happened is the gingiva that was there. So now this is your gingiva that is present around the tooth and this is the gingiva that was there again around the tooth. Now this usually what will happen is if the tooth has undergone passive eruption the level of the gingival attachment usually should remain where it is and a part of the root surface has to be exposed. In this situation what has happened is the gingiva has maintained its normal position with the teeth. So that means there is no exposure of root surface. So the clinical crown height has been maintained and there is no exposure of root surface. Root surface sorry. So what are the changes that could have possibly occurred? First option is increase in attached gingiva. Second is no change in the attached gingiva or decrease in the attached gingiva. And last is none of the above. So now let's look at it. Look at this whole thing from a lateral view. This is the cr crown height clinical crown height and this is the gingiva that was present over here. After wearing out due to passive eruption, this is the mucogingival groove, sorry, this is the gingival groove and this is the attached gingiva. Now what has happened is the tooth has moved occlusally but the gingiva has also moved along with it. So if you can see the groove is where it is, however the attached gingival width is from here to here whereas in this situation it was only so much. So this means to say that there is an increase in the attached gingival width and that is the answer over here.